Hey, Cody. Well, tonight we can finally show you the scene of a deadly shootout in a crowded St. Paul bar. This is from inside the 7th Street Trunk Park. Nearly two years ago, Fox 9 has obtained the surveillance video during the gunfight that killed one person and injured dozens more. And this morning, one of the two gunmen was sentenced to nearly 30 years in prison. Paul Bloom was in the courtroom, and Paul still a lot of hurt. A lot of heartbreak with all of this. Karen and Tim, think about this. Nearly two years now, one gunshot victim still so shaken by what happened that night. He stayed away from sentencing today. His dad instead delivering a victim impact statement on his behalf. Devondre Phillips facing that judge today. His defense attorney asking for mercy, arguing that his client only fired in self-defense to protect himself. The victims, though, here demanding a lengthy sentence. Our family is left to only dream of what the missing pieces of our Kiki's life could have been. Beth Wiley's world was shattered October 10, 2021. Her 27-year-old daughter, Markeisha Wiley, Kiki to all who knew and loved her, was shot and killed in the terrifying truck park shootout. An innocent victim of senseless gunfire between two men, Devondre Phillips and Terry Brown. Wiley spoke of empty holidays and seeking justice on Friday. Our family asks that Phillips be given a long enough sentence in which he will be forced to sit and think of Kiki and all of the, all of the victims on each and every holiday for a very, very, very long time. While it was a bullet from Brown's gun that ultimately cut Kiki's life short, Phillips was convicted on eight counts of attempted murder for the eight people he injured in the packed bar, including Nicholas Guerrero. His Selfish, stupid act has affected many people in many tragic ways. In bar surveillance video here, you can see how the whole thing started. Phillips, ball cap, back up against the boxes. A buddy of Brown approaches, words are exchanged, and Phillips fires a first shot with a gun he had just purchased out in the parking lot that night. As Phillips makes a beeline towards the door, he and Brown go toe-to-toe -to -toe with bullets flying in all directions. Both gunmen were shot multiple times. I just want to say that I'm truly sorry for what occurred, and I'm here ready to stand responsible for my actions. While Phillips' attorney asked for leniency, continuing to claim his client only fired in fear for his own life, prosecutors argued he was just as culpable that night. Ultimately, the judge giving Phillips just shy of 29 years. The second gunman, Terry Brown, in that uh, surveillance video you watched, is now scheduled for sentencing himself coming up in August. We're live in the newsroom tonight for you. Paul Bloom, Fox 9.